the concept. Before we understand the concept of a bill of exchange, let us take an example and see when a bill of exchange is used. Suppose X sells goods to Y for rupees 20,000. Okay. But Y is not in a position to make payment immediately. Y wants to take the goods for three months of credit. Let us just assume that X is not very comfortable with this situation. Maybe Y is a new customer or X is not sure whether Y will be in a position to pay after three months or not. So what X does is X takes a piece of paper and on the piece of paper X writes, he orders actually, X writes, Y will pay X rupees 20,000 after three months. He signs it. He actually puts a stamp to it, takes it to Mr. Y and asks Mr. Y whether he is willing to accept this document. He will have to, Y will have to sign and accept this particular piece of paper. Now this piece of paper becomes a bill of exchange. It is a valid legal document which is a proof for X that three months from now Y will pay rupees 20,000 to him. With this, Y is happy because Y gets the goods on credit. X is happy because X is assured of his payment after three months. The bill of exchange is a valid legal document governed by the Negotiable Instruments Act. So if required, if there is the bill is not honored or if money is not paid by Y based on this bill, there is evidence X can go to court, X can more or less be assured that he will get his money. With this background now, let us first look at a specimen of a bill of exchange, a format of a bill of exchange. This is a specimen of a bill of exchange. Now what does it say? There is an amount mentioned here. The bill is dated. There is a particular date to the bill. And the bill says, three months after, pay to Sohan, or order the sum of rupees 1 lakh only. So there is the amount here again for value received. It is addressed to Mohan. It is accepted by Mohan. It was prepared by Sohan. So Sohan is the drawer and the maker of this bill. And what does Sohan do? Sohan has is instructing Mohan to pay him or order. Order would mean any person that Sohan would endorse to or direct to be paid to. There is the date is specific. The date of the bill is 1st Jan and it is three months after. So the date of payment is also certain. Three months after. Sohan has asked Mohan to pay a sum of rupees 1 lakh. If you notice, the document is also stamped. This is a valid legal document. Sohan has instructed Mohan to pay Sohan or order. Or order would mean any person that Sohan may instruct to be paid. For example, Sohan may want to give it to Arun, he may want to give it to X, he may want to give it to Y, he may want to give it to Z. So the person or to Sohan or order would mean Sohan or any person that Sohan would want to. He would sign behind the bill of exchange and transfer it to somebody else. Amount is clear. Date is clear. There is a drawer and an acceptor. I repeat the stamp makes it a valid legal document. Let us now, based on this information, let us try to define a bill of exchange. <clears throat> let us say Sohan has sold goods worth, okay, rupees 1 lakh 
to Mohan on 1st January. So Sohan has sold goods of rupees 1 lakh to Mohan on 1st January and Mohan has assured him payment after 3 months. So Sohan prepares a bill of exchange. The bill of exchange would look something like this. <clears throat> So this is a piece of paper. Sohan has made this paper. It is signed by Sohan. Sohan is the drawer, the maker of this particular piece of paper. What does it say? It has an amount here. It has the date here. That is the date on which he is making the bill. Yeah. And what does it say? It says three months after pay to Sohan or order the sum of rupees 1 lakh only for value received. So this is 3 months after date is specified. Pay to whom? Pay to Sohan or order. Or order would mean any person that Sohan would want payment to be made. So if Sohan later on wants to pay some creditor of his, he can transfer this bill to that creditor. If his signature is there behind the bill saying that he has transferred or endorsed the bill to the creditor, Mohan would have to pay that particular creditor after three months instead of paying Sohan. So three months after pay to Sohan or order the sum of rupees one lakh Amount is clear for value received. Address to Mohan. Therefore, a bill of exchange, it is an order. It is a writing in writing, an order in writing made by the drawer asking somebody, asking a person to pay a certain sum of money on a certain date. This is signed by Sohan. And a revenue stamp is affixed on this bill of exchange, making this a legal document. A bill of exchange is a legal document covered by the Negotiable Instruments Act 1881. When this bill is made by Sohan, it is actually called a draft. It becomes a valid bill of exchange only when Sohan takes it to Mohan and Mohan signs on this and accepts it. This is how a bill of exchange is made, signed and accepted. Having understood this, let us try to define a bill of exchange. What is a bill of exchange? <clears throat> As per the NI Act, a bill of exchange has been defined as a financial instrument in writing containing an unconditional order signed and stamped by the maker made on a certain date directing a person to pay a certain sum of money to a certain person or to the order of the certain person. The bill must be accepted by the person on whom it is made. So what is a bill of exchange? A bill of exchange is an instrument, a financial instrument. It has a value. It is a financial instrument in writing an oral transaction, an oral a conversation, an oral agreement will not constitute a bill of exchange. So it is a financial instrument in writing made on a certain date containing an unconditional order. So there should be an order to pay. It should not be that when Y gets money, he will pay. If he likes the goods, he will pay. No such condition. It is an unconditional order, a bill of exchange must contain an unconditional order. 
it is signed by the maker and normally a legal a stamp a revenue stamp is affixed on it making it a legal document the amount must be specific it must be sp certain it is not a vague amount it is not subject to anything <clears throat> the amount must be certain it must be payable to a certain person or to the order of a certain person what is the order of a certain person like mentioned before the order of a certain person would mean if suppose the bill is made payable to sohan sohan may direct that this amount be paid to mr arun or mr x or mr y or mr z in which case payment in which case the bill will be presented for payment by arun or x or y or z and mohan would have to make the payment to the person concerned a bill is either may be payable on demand this is called a bill at sight sometimes if the specific date it is not after the expiry of a certain date it is called a demand bill or a bill at sight or it is payable after the expiry of a fixed period of time the bill to make it completely valid bill of exchange must be accepted must be accepted by the debtor by the person who is being ordered who is being instructed to make the payment before its acceptance it is called a draft it is only a draft and it becomes a valid bill of exchange only when y accepts it or mohan accepts it